Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we have a very different video on the channel. We're going to see how uh, one can configure a Wi-Fi extender. So basically, if you have a Wi-Fi network at your home or office and there are some parts of the home or office where you do not get a good Wi-Fi range or a speed, then it is advisable to buy a Wi-Fi extender. So depending upon the range you want to cover, uh, you should buy your Wi-Fi extender. Now this one which I have here is a dual band AC1200 for the entire house. So it basically covers a good area with a 300 Mbps speed on the 2.4 GHz and 867 Mbps on the 5 GHz. And this is the left one I'm talking about. The right one on the other hand is again a 300 Mbps on a 2.4 GHz only. But both are pretty much the same and before we get into the details, do subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon and don't forget to like the video, it really helps the channel grow. The setup process for every router is practically the same and in this video I will be showing you how to set this one up specifically with the TP-Link app uh, as well as via a browser so you can do it from any device uh, from a laptop or a phone or a tablet. Straight away into the box, the first thing is the Wi-Fi extender itself. Under the Wi-Fi extender, there is a quick start guide and some paperwork uh, which I will ignore. Now if you have an other Wi-Fi extender like a Netgear or something, I will link the process down in the description. So do check that out. The entire process remains the same. The application or the website you visit would be different. Okay, so on the Wi-Fi extender, there is a WPS button, which is basically the pass key. Um, there are two antennas with it and there are some details at the back. These antennas can be moved according to how you position the device, which is good. All around the package, it has got airways. On the bottom, it has got a reset button uh, for which you have to use a pin and a LAN port or an ethernet port for connecting it directly to the router so that's also possible it can be used as an access point as well when you connect it to the router it is called as an access point that is directly to the router but if you want to extend its range uh, by keeping your router in another room and the Wi-Fi extender in another room then this process would be better for you now let's plug it in and I will, I will show you how to pair this, so I have switched uh, it on and now there are two lights, so you have the power light which will be a constant light and there is a signal light. So for the purpose of this video, I will be using uh, an iPad, but as I said, you can use any device and it should be fine. Now the first thing you want to check is uh, whether an app is available because the app method is really easy. So if you just search the app store or the play store you can you can you find major carriers like netgear uh, linksys uh, tp link all of them are already there so all you have to do is just download the app and we we'll look at that method also in the latter part of the video right now let's look at tp link so i will download the app uh, it is known as tp link tether so basically there are two methods method one is via the browser so i'll be showing you that first and method two uh, is via the app which we will see in the latter part of the video so all you have to do is go to your device settings under device settings wi-fi under wi-fi you'll be able to see the tp link extender or the netgear extender you have to connect to that extender make sure that your mobile data is off if you're using a phone or a tablet so switch off the mobile data and connect to the extender network normally the extender network should not have a password so you automatically connect to it after you connect to the network go to the browser of the device you are using uh, say safari or google chrome and just type in tp link repeater now this is only for tp link so tp link repeater dot net and you hit go 
once that is done uh, it automatically will take you to the tp link device page uh, now this page is from the extender itself if you're setting this up for the first time it will ask you a password uh, i am just putting in random a uh, random password like an admin you can put that do remember that because the next time you want to log in to this device or change its network you will have to put the password again now what this straight away does is it sets up the device so as soon as you enter this page it will automatically start scanning for networks you will see the entire list of networks which are available in the surrounding and now you click on the network which you want to use and enter your password so i am entering my password and then you enter okay or next and you come to the page where you have to decide the ssid now the ssid is basically the network name or the wifi name and normally on default it is going to be your main network name underscore ext you might want to keep the same name and i recommend that so that whenever you shift from your main network to the extender network it automatically switches it uh, without any confusion and this is really good for your devices and extremely convenient and of course this goes for the password as well so do keep the same password as the main router uh, including the network name so i'm quickly going to just change the wifi extender's name to the name of my main router that is uh, hidden space 1 and i would keep it that way so that it is easier to connect and once you are done with the name change you just click on the next button and now the router is getting con configured so it it makes you wait for i think 100 seconds so till the bar progress bar reaches 100% after that you will automatically connect to uh, the same Wi-Fi extender and the same name and the same password if you followed all the steps. And now if I check under Wi-Fi, I'll be connected to the same network. So that's good. Uh, on the Wi-Fi extender, I see a red light. Now while shooting this video, uh, I am a little far away from my router, but you should see a blue light and if it is a blue light, it is better. that means the signal from the main router is pretty strong but nevertheless my wifi is working and i can surf the net as well so this process is done and now let's move on to the another second method which is with the tether app or the tp link app um and this also goes for your other network so say netgear has its own genie app etc etc so as i showed you earlier you go to the play store or the app store and download the app once you download the app it will ask for various permissions you have to just continue with all of them and go to the next one normally it will come up to this sign in page uh, once it comes on to the sign in sign in page you create an account or if you already have the account then you enter it and after you log in then it will show you the list of available uh, or paired already paired uh, wifi extenders and wifi routers now i have two active wifi extenders already configured uh, but i will show you how to configure this new one and what are the steps for it so let's get into that so here there there are various devices which you can configure i'm going to click on the extender of course and that's what we want to configure so all you have to do is plug in your new device and once you have plugged it in then the power light should come on and the process remains exactly the same uh, which we did for method 1 and you can also follow the on screen uh, instructions so what this says is that the power light should be stable so as soon as you say it is stable uh, the next pop up and wait for it it should be that your device is connecting to tp link extender etc or netgear extender whatever you might have it should automatically connect to it and this pop up might be for an ios device if it does not work go into the device settings under wifi choose 
TP link extender like what we did in method 1 do refer to that and the process is the same but through the app uh, that it is a better UI it is extremely friendly and it is very easy to use uh, so as I can see now the, it has already found uh, the Wi-Fi extender and like we did for method 1 uh, you make an account and this account is important because you have to re-login if you have to re-login then this is required so I'm again uh, keeping the same thing as admin so admin is the password for my extender you can also set it to admin if you want and once that is done uh, it will automatically configure the Wi-Fi extender and now it is scanning for Wi-Fi networks in the surrounding and hit me up down in the comment section if you get stuck with the process or need help also I personally prefer the app version and the apps are very easy to use okay now we have the list of all the networks in the surrounding uh, we click on the network we want to use and mine is going to be hidden space one so I will click on that and enter the password and once I enter the password the next screen uh, will show me the network name and the password I have put in and this will be the same thing which will repeat for the extender as well so I can choose the name to be something else now here as you can see it is hidden uh, one extension I'm going to remove the ext part of it uh, because it is easier for my devices to connect I click on next and now the extender starts getting configured so the process is as easy as this and as soon as this is over it will automatically sign back into it and you can start using your Wi-Fi extender I recommend that this process should be done next to your main router so that the extender learns the Wi-Fi network and picks it up well and then you can position it anywhere in the house or your office and now the next screen uh, will be to show you if the router uh, or the extender are talking to each other have connected to each other uh, how are the lights if they are stable or not uh, right now I am getting a red colored LED but uh, this should normally be blue so I like how TP-Link has uh, you know kept a step-by-step -step guide to everything and as you can see I've connected it is automatically asking me if I should connect to uh, hidden one and if I tap yes, it will automatically connect to that network and It says I'm all set and ready to go. So the Wi-Fi has connected to hidden one and it should be functional now Now it is logging into the device and as you can see it is logged in uh, it is recommending me uh, at the top if you see it it's recommending me to uh, move a little closer to the main router so you can do that uh, you can do a number of things in this app like if you hit tools uh, down below you'll be able to see uh, a lot of options you can even troubleshoot your network from here you can see whether if the device is correct or not so uh, if you see the position right now it's saying that it is uh, not correct and I should move closer to the router so you can do all of these things from here so as I said in the earlier part of the video, if you want to configure an access point, then you have to connect your uh, main router or main modem to the LAN cable or the LAN port or the Ethernet port which is there below the extender. So you can plug it in there and the process should be exactly the same. So there is no change there. Apart from that, if you have a 2.5, 2.4 gigahertz and a 5 gigahertz connection on your main router, then uh, do check that before buying the extender. Buy an extender which has got both uh, the choices of uh, networks and the process exactly remains the same so there is no change there. Finally, we are at the end of the video. Let me know down in the comment section if you have any queries because I answer to all your questions. And as usual, thanks for watching.